Today's we um oh Jesus blanket. Today's today's we um shop what would I say we shop task um is uh, to make a couple of bolts to hold down the uh rotary table on the on the mill. Uh, I in my hurry to try out the rotary table have some fun with it i just i just cut slots in the bolts with the um, smallest uh end mill that I had which wasn't small enough to actually work with the screwdriver so uh i they got a wee bit chewed up so that's not the greatest so what i want to do is make a little allen head now where's the camera can you see that clearly Try and get some light on there without blinding you. There's a little Allen head cutter. And this is a rotary plunge tool that um, works. Okay, sometimes. I've never tried it with this. And I also haven't tried it in uh, slightly hardened steel, which is, I think, what bolts tend to be made out of. Now, this is just eBay specials from China. God bless China. I wish and I hope that we don't fall out with them or else I won't have anything to buy if we don't stop being friends with China. But such is politics. Anyway, um, I'm going to drill a hole. Uh, I think I've got a 5 mil drill. This is a 6 mil um, Allen key and we'll see how it works. And I will uh, keep you posted as we go along. And uh, there will be riveting zen moments of of uh, machining. What more can you ask for? Isn't my beard fantastic at the moment? Oh, I love it. Now, I may be courting disaster here, but here is uh, said bolt and chuck. There's the drill. Get this out of the way. I was having a wee experiment with some uh, homemade cutting tools here uh, to cut shapes. Footy, you'll be delighted with this. Um, I've kind of played around with this a wee bit, but this uh, this is uh, needs a wee bit more work because I want to cut uh, I want to cut wee rounds into things. Anyway, here we go. Okay, I don't want to bore you with drilling the hole because drilling holes are drilling a hole. Uh, but um, here's the amazing little. This thing wobbles as it as the lathe turns, and that's what makes it cut as such. So here we go. There's a flat face on here. I'm going to make sure that's pointing the right way. I know. The biggest problem of being in Canada is we're metric, but we're not really metric. You're never very sure what you've got. So you've got to have two sets of tools. And if you're an old idiot like me and you have a British motorbike, you've got another set of tools as well. Right. Okay, so here is the uh, the wee device. There you can see. Oh, maybe you can't. Uh, you can see now a hex head, and it's uh, held in there with a grub screw. We've got that in the in the. Uh, the chuck and the headstock. So it's quite the piece of gear. Now the idea here is that you advance then you cut the hole. Right away. Like I say, 
There we have it. One little hexagonal hole, and lo and behold, fits on the six mil wrench perfectly. So that will do the job. Now I've just got to make another one, and then uh, I'll let you see it getting attached to the uh, to the uh, uh, to the mill. Okay. I don't think I was recording it. I think I was, I took a photograph of myself and was talking to myself. Okay. As you can see in here, one of the problems is it pushes the metal down into the bottom of the hole, the way it cuts. And it leaves kind of a mess in the bottom of the hole. But that doesn't really matter because the Allen key goes in and it fits and it's deep and it's strong and it's good and everything's hunky-dory. So, uh, had, as I tried tidying up with an end mill, but I think uh, there's a very good chance you could end up screwing up your your Allen, Allen stud. But it's functional and it'll do the job and that's exactly what I'm looking for. So, now over to the mill. So... Here we have um, the uh, rotary head, um, and you can see the slots that were machined. They look lovely, but they don't do the job. They get chewed up, so uh, it's time to take them out. Um, I should have set up the GoPro to do this, but let's see. Okay, we'll come back to this. Okay, let's see if this works. So, taking the, uh, the slot, I did pre oomph for this so it would come out. I'm gonna the uh, slotted one out and here goes the allen head now there's a t-slot in here so that's what's that's what's holding it at the moment hopefully we're lining up with that Well, that seemed a lot more difficult than it should have been to get them in, but uh, the new bolts seem a wee bit shorter than the other ones. 
whatever. Anyway, there was something funny there going on. Maybe it's crap underneath the thing as well, but um, uh, but I've I've got to zero everything off, and but it was just to check that it worked, and it does, and uh, it works beautifully, and um, I'm going to be able to uh, tighten these up.